Hey guys, this is our Stu interview the Deku Leglick Marvel Superheroes Ultimate Spider-Man Glider. So this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just six and up, and this is set seven oh oh three, and comes with uh, forty five pieces, and uh, comes with one minifig, which is. Spider-Man, and you got the Ultimate Spider-Man logo right here. Uh, you got Spider-Man at the corner. You got the Spider-Man on top, at the side, and on the other side as well. And this is the bottom of the box. This is the back. Uh, it shows you the feature of the glider and also some of the other sets uh, that's in the same category. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So this is the instruction manual right here and yeah, uh, it's just normal instructions. And yeah, I mean, um, nothing too special here uh, except for the ad at the back which uh, shows you the other bigger sets. Uh, you got uh, this Avengers set, you got this Batman set, you got this Band of Steel set, and you got this other Spider-Man set. And you got uh, all of the other smaller sets as well but aside from that that's pretty much it so this is the spider-man figure itself right here and it's the common version of the spider-man which you get in pretty much every single spider-man set but yeah uh so the head print here you got the big eyes you know uh, you got the web printing at the uh back uh and the torso you have the spider printing in the middle and you have all the webbing printing on the red part of the suit and you got the kind of blue parts uh, of the suit uh, and no leg printing uh, but this is the back you have uh, the back head printing which also has uh, this webbing design and you have uh, the back torso print which you have uh, the spider print so yeah Aside from that, that's pretty much it for Spider-Man. So this is the glider build itself right here. So uh, the front, you have this kind of um, windscreen look-alike piece which is tinted. So that's just that. And you have uh, these flick fire missiles which have two of them, uh, one on each side. And uh, they do work pretty nicely. You can kind of just flick them and yeah, they work pretty well. And uh, here, uh, Spider-Man is standing on this uh, platform here, holding on to this uh, handle, which I guess he can use it to control the glider. But um, it's uh, clipped onto this uh, red piece, and at the back here, you got this uh, cruster piece, which uh, it's just a wheel piece. So on each side, you do have uh, this kind of wing piece, which is uh, just there to make this look more like a wing piece. But yeah, you can kind of pose it and make it into a make it into landing mode or something. So yeah, uh, and at the bottom here you got these arms. I'm not sure what they're there for, but uh, they could be here to kind of support the glider. Um, you know, because you can make it into this position. So yeah, I guess uh, that's just that. And uh, you got these clips. You got these uh, kind of hand uh, at the bottom here, which uh, they are kind of just clips. Uh, so you can kind of clip onto this uh, flick missile. So yeah. But aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it. So overall conclusion of this set here. So. How do I think of it? Um, well, I think the figure, uh, you know, the figure here is um, pretty good. You know, the printing and stuff, they are fine. And the build itself here, um, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice. And the quality of it is okay. It's not that good because you have these kind of access uh, plastic on here. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, the flex fire missiles, they do work. And yeah, uh, but it's just that. The quality is not so great. If you can find the Shenyuan version of uh, this set, then I recommend you getting the Shenyuan version because uh, Shenyuan has better quality. But it's just that um, I believe Shenyuan's uh, Spider-Man doesn't have a back head printing. So that's just that. But I believe uh, the cool set is uh, more common. Uh, you can find it more easily. but. Uh, this is a pretty old set, so 
it's uh, it's been retired now so yeah I mean it'll be a little bit harder to find this set but yeah the original Lego version of this set I'm not sure if it's uh, rare or not but, yeah uh, if you can't get the original set then I definitely recommend you getting the bootleg version either the Deku version or or the Shingon version so if you wanna buy the set, I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below if I can find it along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for